the start position is with our grippers open. If I rotate the camera so that the camera sees this tag, the code says the servo should partially close the gripper. And when it sees a different tag, it will close the gripper even more. Now we've got this working. John has been giving us code to operate the McQueen Plus with the Husky lens on it and tag identification. And so we're now able to press a button using infrared and that when it sees a tag changes the position of the grippers. See how they closed partially? There are about 500 of these tags. So we can make many responses with several different servos. Yesterday I did a video showing how to use this remote control to drive the bot car, but this requires radio and two micro bits, one here and one here to receive the signal. Today, I'm using some of John's code adapted to the McQueen, and we have identified which signal is sent with each button press, and the center signal is the stop signal. So press this up button, it will send a signal 5. Right button sends a signal 9, 27 for reverse, and left button is 7. Now, how did I get those numbers? I used a simple program, which I will include in this video, which says, the simple program says, when you press a, a button on the, on the micro bit, show the number that is sent, and then apply that number in your code when you're trying to give instructions. So here it says, if you receive the number nine, do something, turn right. If you see the number five, go forward. If you receive the number 27, go backward. If you see, receive the number seven, turn left. These code, these numbers came from the code which says, show the number when you press a button, then include the number in the code. There'll be more about this, but what we're doing here is using infrared, any infrared. And with that, it eliminates the need for two micro bits. We're saving some cost on using only one micro bit. Now we'll be able to do more with our bot car and our gripper and other mechanical things included. There'll be more about this.